Hello guys, welcome back to the Digital Aviator channel and I think this is part 4 if I'm not mistaken of the Microsoft Flight Simulator basics tutorial where we have just taken off. If I actually if I look behind me, we, yep, we still see the runway, there it is. So we're just going to keep, we keep climbing here and um, I'm going to talk about, well, about climbing and descending and flying level and about changing airspeed. So during the climb out I've talked a lot about trim in the last video and how we use trim to set a airspeed. Uh, basically as if it were cruise control. That's what I've done. I've trimmed the plane for 75 knots. The plane is maintaining that 75 knots on its own. It's not pitching up or down changing the airspeed. So this actually tells us a very important thing. By pitching the plane we change the airspeed. And yes we also change the vertical speed. But the vertical speed should really be controlled with your throttle. And this is very counterintuitive. You think that by pitching up we go up more and by pitching down we go down more and yes it's in theory correct but i'll show you the why that's not entirely true in a moment and you also think that the throttle would control your airspeed like in a car if you uh, press the accelerator you go faster and if you let go of the accelerator you go slower but the throttle actually does something very different in a plane it actually controls your vertical speed and it's all had to do with that aerody aerodynamical balance that i talked about that we have set the trim for so right now the trim is set for 75 knots so what would happen if I lower the throttle? Well, yes, initially the airspeed will go down, but because we had trimmed for 75 knots and the airspeed goes below that, the plane will automatically start to pitch down because of that aerodynamical balance we have set to maintain that 75 knots. And as a result, the airspeed wouldn't really change very much. It might go up and down a little bit, but what will actually change a lot is the vertical speed. So we're almost coming up to 4,000 feet. We have a lot of altitude below us. So let's just reduce the throttle a little bit and see what happens. I'm going to pull the throttle back a little bit to about maybe 1600 RPM. So there we go, it's so about 1600 RPM there. And well, we can already see what's happening. The nose is going down. If we look at the airspeed indicator, it's actually going up. And that's because suddenly the nose dropped down and we are descending quite massively. We are descending a moment ago at 1500 feet per minute. But now because I was descending, the airspeed picked up. And because the airspeed is now way higher than what I was trimmed for, the nose is going back up. And because that nose is going back up, the airspeed is dropping again. And now because the airspeed is dropping again, the nose is lowering again. Okay, so we're kind of in this constant oscillation. But if I kind of fix that myself by slowing myself back down to 75 knots, we will see that the plane actually is flying very stable. It is again set without pitching up or down. And the airspeed really hasn't changed. We're a little bit higher than that, so it is not exactly spot on the same amount of knots but what we have changed by putting the throttle out or not fully out but a little bit is the vertical speed i'm now descending and the airspeed is not really changed i can adjust my airspeed a little bit and maybe retrim to really be at 75 knots but there's not really any meaning to descend at exactly 75 knots that's really only for climbing but this will teach you that throttle doesn't really control the airspeed it controls vertical speed so if i apply full throttle again yes initially the airspeed will go up there we go it's going up but as a result of that we are now going faster than what i was trimmed for so the plane is pitching up because of that aerodynamical damage uh, no sorry I, I misspoke there we're going faster than what i was trimmed for so the plane will pitch up because of that aerodynamical balance and now we're going slower than what i was trimmed for because of that climb so the airspeed goes back down so the art of climbing and descending is to fix this constant oscillation going up and down um, with a little bit of manual pitch to maintain that airspeed and then you will be able to very accurately start climbing and descending so let's just let the airspeed settle at 75 knots so i've just pitched the plane myself a little bit so that we are again at 75 knots and as you can see the trim stays there or the airspeed stays there because of the trim and we are climbing again and i'm going to start to descend by pulling the throttle back out a little bit and i'm lowering the nose to prevent that initial loss of airspeed so I pushed a little bit against the nose. Now the airspeed is dropping, so I'm going to pull back up a little bit. So we maintain at 75 knots. And at some point the airspeed doesn't really change anymore. And we will see that the nose is actually very stable. It's not really pitching up or down constantly. So now we have very successfully started the descent. The airspeed went up a little bit. That's pretty normal if you are descending quite fast. We were descending at 1000 feet per minute, which is pretty fast. Um, but we haven't really changed the airspeeds. So that is the whole story about climbing and descending. So let's see if I can... Uh, climb back up to 3000 feet we're slightly below it and level off there so i'm going to apply a little bit of throttle pull the nose up to prevent that initial rise of airspeed we want to stay at roughly 75 knots <clears throat> 
And now we are going back up. We can see that from our vertical speed indicator and the altimeter is also moving back up. And in a moment we will reach 3000 feet. So in order to level off, I'll just reduce the power a little bit again, right about now. Just enough to maintain zero vertical speed while being at 75 knots. So I'm just going to let the plane settle itself out a little bit. The airspeed is now 80 knots, so not exactly right anymore. We also have a, also the air pressure changed a little bit because we went higher. So it's not exactly 75 knots anymore. But uh, actually I've adjusted my throttle pretty nicely to maintain level flight. It's very hard to be exactly spot on. So during your flight you will be constantly adjusting your throttle so that you maintain your altitude. You will never have it, you know, constantly be at zero. And you can see the plane is moving up and down a little bit. But we have now managed to level off at a very specific altitude without changing airspeed. So now next comes the task of speeding up or slowing down. Because right now we are, you know, not going extremely fast. Or we don't really want to go extremely fast, but we can go faster for a nice cruise speed. So let's say I want to cruise at about 90 knots, maybe 200 knots. Let's first go to 90 knots. I need to accelerate another 10 knots. So in order to do that, well, we can either just pitch the nose down to gain airspeed, as we have learned, but that of course would also make us descend. So I do actually want to pitch the nose down to gain airspeed, but I also want to maintain this altitude. So I also need to add some throttle, because remember, throttle controls the vertical speed. So if I want to push the nose down to gain the airspeed, I also need to add throttle to maintain zero vertical speed. So I'm going to add a bit of throttle and push the nose down so that we maintain that zero vertical speed. And as a result of that, I'm constantly pushing. As a result of that, the airspeed is coming up. So now we're at 85 knots. And the faster we go, the more I have to push. I'm only pushing a little bit right now, but the nose wants to go up. Here's 90 knots. Let's see where we get up. I'm going to go full throttle here. Let's see what will happen. The nose really wants to go up. And the airspeed is still building up. So I'm pushing more and more on the yoke to maintain zero vertical speed at 3000 feet. So I'm going to just let the plane set all its airspeed out. It seems like it's going to do so at around 100 knots. And now I want to fix this issue that I have where I'm really focusing on the airspeed again and on the vertical speed and pitching the plane. So we can actually replace my manual pitch with trim again. So I have to push the nose down. If I don't, the nose goes up like this. So let's just prevent that by pushing the nose down. And I want to replace my manual pushing, my manual pitching of the, uh, of the nose downwards with trim. So we look at the trim, we see nose down is moving the wheel up, which is a little bit counterintuitive. But I'm just slowly moving the nose wheel up until I feel that I no longer have to press the nose forward with my yoke. Slowly adjusting the trim, just a little bit by a little bit. And I'm slightly climbing too fast, so a little bit more. So you just make very small adjustments until you feel that the plane is nice and stable. And that is how you change your airspeed. I have not climbed, well, maybe half, uh, you know, 50 feet or so, which is pretty normal. I mean, if it's turbulent, you'll go up and down all of the time. It's actually very calm weather at this moment. But I've managed to speed up and not really change my vertical speed. So remember that throttle controls vertical speed and pitch controls airspeed. So if you increase the throttle, the nose wants to go up, but if you pitch the nose down, you can actually maintain that vertical speed, but instead gain airspeed. So now let's do another exercise. I want to descend at 80 knots. So I have to do two things. I would want to slow down, but also descend. So descending is easy. We just pull the throttle out a little bit. But I also want to slow down. And in order to do that, I have also to put, uh, pull the throttle out, but also to pitch up. So I'm going to pull the throttle out so much that even if I pitch up, we still are descending. Let's say around 500 to 1000 feet per minute. And then I'm going to control the pitch so we go down to 80 knots. So let's try that out. I'm going to pull the throttle a bit. Initially, we'll, I'll let the plane start descending. And now I'm about, you know, I'm just going to hold this pitch here. So by pitching up a little bit, I'm not going to lower the nose anymore. And we see we are descending at around, you know, 500 to 1000 feet. And the airspeed is slowly coming down. Maybe I'll lower the throttle a bit more to lower the airspeed quicker. And I'm really having to pull on the yoke. So I'm already going to start trimming the nose up a little bit. That will help me out. So you don't have to f really first go, you know, too stable and then only start trimming. It's actually much easier to already start trimming a little bit. So here's 80 knots. And let's just see if I've trimmed correctly to maintain 80 knots. I'm just uh, increasing the power a little bit to stay nicely between 500 and 1000 feet per minute descent rate. 
And the airspeed is still a little bit above 80 knots. So I'm going to trim just a little bit more. Only a couple of clicks on the trim wheel should do it. A little bit less throttle now. And now we're descending nicely at around 500 to 1000 feet per minute. We can maybe go a little bit faster descending. Very small changes to the throttle and to the trim. And now I've managed to start descending at you know my desired vertical speed. You know, feel free to go faster or lower, but at least I'm descending and I'm at 80 knots. And I can also go down to 60 knots, back to 100 knots while descending. I can climb at 60 knots, I can climb at 80 knots. Um, now, that is how you are going to control the plane with airspeed and altitude. Those are the two most important things while flying, airspeed and altitude. If you don't have enough airspeed, the wings are not producing lift, we will fall out of the sky. But you can see it's very hard because if we slow down, the nose automatically drops. So yes, we start descending, so hopefully you have some space below you, but the plane will automatically try to pitch down to maintain airspeed, unless you're really trimming correctly. So, and of course, if we go too fast, that's also damaging for the plane. So we don't want that. Um, so airspeed is really important, of course, and we have learned how to control that. And altitude is also really important because if we're flying at 100 feet towards the ground, well, we don't really have a lot of room for error and possible terrain, power lines, birds, you know. We want to be at least a thousand feet above the terrain most of the time, preferably a couple of thousand feet more. So we've learned how to climb and descend and maintain altitude. So. Um, I'm just going to level off here at uh, 1500 feet, so I'm just going to add a bit more power. Pull the nose up to prevent the airspeed from going up. And let's just see if I can get this nice and stable by adjusting my power. I shouldn't have to adjust the trim, because remember trimming basically sets an airspeed, so we're still at 18 knots here. Slightly below it though. I mean it does change slightly if you adjust your pitch. You might want to re-trim afterwards, but you know it's usually only a, just 5 knots up or down or so. But now I'm flying level again just by increasing the power. So I'm just going to leave it here for the next video. In the next video, I'm going to show you a little bit more about flying before we get back down to the air. Uh, back down to the air, no, to the ground at the airport. Um, I'm going to talk about making turns. And I'm going to talk about some tricks by, to help us fly by looking outside. Because right now I've really been focusing on the instruments. And that's what you want to learn to do initially. But outside is where we are flying, this is where we are navigating, this is where birds are, terrain, uh, power poles, uh, towers, clouds, other planes. We want to be looking outside because that's you know where we are in the world. So we want to learn how to make turns, how to climb and descend, maintain altitude, fly straight by looking outside. That's what we talk about in the next video.